Um, okay, so you said you have stuff here that illustrates your shortcomings or something, or what? Well, here's I mean, it, just in the sense that um, two two things that I would point out. One one is the um, the predict predicted uh, until I watched the lesson on there. Okay. Uh, the predicted change from C to B minor. Okay. Which is okay. That's so it. I said that was going to be difficult. Not, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that uh, yeah it is. Okay. Um, it is. Yeah. It is. Um, and 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 if I you know, it's, it's like warming up to play uh, to play golf or something. If you know, if I take enough swings, I can probably move back into it and right. get, get get better at it. Yeah. Um, and then this the other thing, um, and this is more related to my my whole sense of um, uh, connection. If I try to play that with the music, mm. and with I, the recording, with the recording. Yeah. There are parts of it that I can play, okay. and there are parts of it that I just get lost in. And some of it, um, I'm not getting lost because I don't know where I should go. Okay. I'm getting lost because I'm just simply not, you know, I'm, I'm either getting ahead of or behind the beat somehow. Oh, okay. And, and, uh, and part of that's not having the confidence of being able to connect up um, measures with mm. words that I've known all my life and right. you know, which is yeah, and so I always think in my mind it always, it, my my mind's always saying to me well that word right there mod mm. has to occur at the beginning of that okay see which is not always the case right it's not uh, it's yeah. not the case and so uh, when I'm trying to when I'm trying to connect that uh, you know it may have started somewhere else yeah and, and, so when, if you're strumming a C chord there, yeah. or just, just start strumming through C and D back and forth like we're doing this. Part. Okay. Yeah. And then it would change to D right there, right? It's just one oh, measure of right, each. Right. So just do the C's and D's, yeah. Right. And this just goes on forever in this song, right? right? These same two things back up a bit. Yeah, it doesn't, oh, and it doesn't go back to D, right? Right. Right. So all of the words, like the first syllable of each line, yeah, when you're humming it, where did you sing? Where did you hum that first syllable? Take it again. Do the next line. Yeah, it does begin on that. Some of them do, and some of them don't. Yeah. Um, so can you can you strum it and sing it at the same time? Sometimes. Because you were humming it while you were playing. I can hum it. Yeah. So and I can't always actually. Uh, perhaps I can hum it because I'm not. I haven't memorized the words. Yeah, and I sort of know it, but I don't know it. Yeah, you know, that's, yeah. That's a, that's you know thing. singing um, singing along with anything is can be really difficult in the first place. You know, I mean, as yeah. you as you learn a song, you have to kind of like learn the chords. You have to learn the the guitar part sort of first. Right. For some people, especially if you've been playing for like ten or twenty years, it gets it's pretty easy to start putting them together because you've done this now with hundreds of songs, maybe right. or something. You right, know, right, right, right. but in the early stages, there are even just playing the guitar. There are so many different things going on, even just what your two hands have to do, but each one does two or three different things, you know, it's like, right. so it's not, it's not like it's, you learn, the chords are not just one, one item, you have to remember right. the sequence of them, and you know, anyway. Right. Um, and then singing is like another five things on top of the five you're already doing. It's right. not just like one more thing. Right. So it was interesting right. that you were humming this, because a lot of times that's what I'll tell people is, don't worry about the words, just hum it so you've got the melody in, in, mm -hmm. in your head. Because even concentrating on the words takes another piece, another chunk of brain power that is maybe not available right now. Yeah, you know? well, yeah.